The History of Media Laws and Censorship in China Media laws govern the media industry, addressing freedom of expression, content regulation, media ownership, etc. They balance protecting freedom with addressing societal interests, ensuring media organizations and individuals comply with legal requirements while disseminating information. There had been no independent media industry nor media communication channels available to the general public in China until late Imperial Qing era, though China's papermaking history can be traced to early Han Dynasty and China invented printing in Song Dynasty. Han Dynasty introduced official government gazette, limited to government circulation, Song Dynasty saw private individuals publishing news and articles. In the Song Dynasty, official government gazette resembled modern newspapers in content, format, and dissemination. In Qing Dynasty, semi-governmental newspaper press disseminated official news. Majority view is that modern concepts of freedom of press and speech were not born in the Chinese soil. Instead, they were mostly imported from the Western world in the late 19th century and early 20th century. The concept of freedom of press originated in China, with Carl Friedrich August Gutzlaff launching a newspaper. Liang Qichao, a legal reformist, later emphasized these fundamental freedoms as fundamental human rights. Starting in 1906, the Qing government began to issue a few statutes governing specifically on press and newspaper, including the law of printed object in the Great Qing Dynasty newspaper rule, provisional regulation of newspaper and the law of Qing Dynasty. Freedom of expression and press were first mentioned in China's provisional constitution in 1912 and remained fundamental rights. However, during the Beiyang government, 1912 to 1928, and the Kuomintang Nanjing government era, widespread censorship and restrictions on these rights persisted. During the period from 1928 to 1949 in China, the country experienced significant political and social changes, including the rule of the Nationalist Party, Kuomintang, led by Chiang Kai-shek and the subsequent Chinese Communist Party, CCP. The Nationalist Party's 1928 rule imposed press control and media freedom through the ordinance for the regulation of newspapers, requiring licenses and censorship, shutting down critical publications, and punishing journalists. Early regulation, 1949-1978 After the founding of the People's Republic of China in 1949, the Communist Party of China, CPC, took control of the media and implemented strict censorship policies. Media outlets were primarily used as tools for propaganda to promote the ideologies of the party and the government. The press, radio, and television were owned and operated by the state, and any independent media was suppressed. Reform and opening up. 1978-1989 In the late 1970s, China began implementing economic reforms and opening up to the world. Some media outlets were allowed to operate with increased autonomy and a degree of editorial independence. However, the government maintained control over the media and continued to restrict freedom of expression. Tiananmen Square protests in 1989, calling for political reform and freedom of speech, resulted in a government crackdown. In the aftermath of the protests, the Chinese government tightened control over the media and imposed stricter censorship. The 1990s saw the introduction of new laws and regulations to reinforce government control, including the state secrecy law and regulations on internet use. Internet and cyberspace regulation, 2000 present with the rapid growth of the internet, China faced new challenges in controlling information flow, blocking access to numerous foreign websites and social media platforms. The Golden Shield Project, also known as the Great Firewall, monitors and restricts internet usage in China. China has introduced various laws and regulations to control online media, such as the Cybersecurity Law, 2017, and the Social Credit System, under development, which aims to monitor and rate the behavior of individuals and organizations. The Internet News Regulation, introduced in 2005 and revised in 2017, is a crucial media law in China. It requires news websites, social media platforms, and internet companies to obtain government licenses, censor content, remove prohibited information, and cooperate with government investigations. The Chinese government adopted a number of laws to regulate media and information dissemination, including the National Security Law of 2015. This law defines national security threats and gives the government broad authority to monitor and punish activities that are deemed to threaten net. The Chinese government controls traditional media outlets like television, radio, and newspapers, overseen by the state administration of press, publication, radio, film, and television. They enforce guidelines, self-censorship, and severe penalties for violators. In 2020, China introduced the National Security Law for Hong Kong, which has implications for media freedom in the territory. The Civil Code of the People's Republic of China, which came into effect on January 1, 2021, protects personal rights, reputation, and privacy. It offers legal remedies for rights violations, including defamation and privacy infringement.